How to create a free-form multiple choice question in Storyline. In this video, we will show you how to create this multiple choice question slide in Storyline. This is a custom question slide where question options are rectangles with text and where you receive feedback right after clicking the submit button. Learn how to make a slide like this on your own or download the free template from our homepage. Or even better, do both. Okay, and let's dive right into the tutorial. Here you can see page layout with the necessary objects, including answer options as shapes and a custom submit button. First, go to the insert tab and click on the convert to free form option. Choose the pick many option. Question form view will open. Enter the question choices and select the correct answers here. and then return back to the slide view. Here you can see that the submit action has been automatically assigned to the player submit button. You can easily assign this action to your custom submit button. Create a new action for your own submit button. When the user clicks it, the interaction will be submitted. Then uncheck the submit button checkbox from the slide navigation controls in the slide properties. Next, add hover and disable states to the submit button. The initial state of the submit button should be disabled. Add the necessary action so that the button is enabled after at least one of the choices is selected. Next, we can improve the auto-generated feedbacks. Right now, they are difficult to read and don't fit in with the overall look of the slide. Let your imagination run wild here. Add images, media, and other details which will improve the user experience and help the test taker receive the best feedback possible. Here you can see how we built the feedback layers. It's quite simple, but delivers the information in clear and straightforward manner. Checkmark images are used to indicate the correct and wrong answers. There is a text panel on the right side of the screen where you can place the feedback text and a button with which you can exit the course or go to another page. You can also improve the overall look of the page by altering the states of option buttons. Selected state has been automatically added to the buttons after inserting the freeform question. Add other states or alter the look of the selected state. We have done both, added the hover state and adjusted the selected state. Add hotspots to the normal state of the shapes to ensure that the mouse pointer always changes to hand cursor when you move it over the buttons. And that's it! Your custom multiple choice question slide is ready! You can find more tutorials like this on FasterCourse YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.